Picture this, an astounding 20 million tons of sargassum seaweed choking the waters of the Gulf of Mexico and the Caribbean. A sight that is as staggering as it is alarming. This is not a scene from a dystopian future, but a grim reality of our present times. What was once a vital part of the marine ecosystem has now turned into a monstrous invader, disrupting marine life and coastal communities in ways we never imagined. The sargassum seaweed, known for its rapid growth, has been proliferating at an unprecedented scale. It's an underwater jungle out there with the seaweed creating dense mats that stretch for miles across the ocean surface. The sheer volume of this growth is suffocating marine life, obstructing sunlight and altering the ocean's chemistry. But the impact is not confined to the ocean depths. Coastal communities are bearing the brunt of this invasion too. Picture pristine beaches now blanketed by thick layers of rotting seaweed, emitting a foul stench that hangs heavy in the air. The once vibrant coastal towns now stand deserted, their economies crippled as the sargassum invasion takes a heavy toll on tourism and fishing industries. For the local fishermen, the sargassum seaweed is more than a nuisance. It's a threat to their livelihood. Their nets come up filled with the invasive seaweed instead of fish. It's a grim catch that symbolizes the severity of the situation. This is not just an environmental issue, it's an economic crisis, a social problem and a threat to our biodiversity. It's a crisis on a monumental scale that calls for a solution just as grand. But what exactly is this sargassum seaweed and why is it causing such a commotion? You see, sargassum seaweed is no ordinary aquatic plant. It's a brown algae that thrives in the open ocean, forming floating mats that can stretch for miles. It's a natural part of the marine ecosystem, providing food and shelter to a diverse range of sea creatures. But in recent years, sargassum has been proliferating at an alarming rate, turning from a boon into a bane. Why is this happening, you ask? Well, environmental factors such as warmer ocean temperatures and increased nutrient runoff from land are contributing to the seaweed's rapid growth. Yes, it's another offshoot of our changing climate and human activities. But why is this a problem? Imagine walking along a beautiful beach only to be greeted by a thick, rotting mass of seaweed. The smell is pungent, like rotten eggs, and the sight is far from the idyllic image of clear blue waters we hold dear. This is the reality for many coastal communities affected by the sargassum invasion. Yet, the issue goes beyond mere discomfort. The seaweed poses significant challenges to both marine and coastal ecosystems. When the sargassum dies and sinks, it consumes oxygen as it decomposes, creating dead zones where marine life can't survive. On land, it smothers beaches, affecting tourism and local livelihoods, and disrupts nesting sites for sea turtles. And let's not forget about the economic impact. The cost of removing the seaweed is immense and traditional methods can be harmful to the environment. The situation calls for an innovative and sustainable solution, one that can turn the tide on this growing problem. The sea, once a source of life and livelihood, now brings a tide of nuisance and destruction. Now imagine a seafaring robot named Alga Ray, designed to combat this very problem. Picture this a self-sufficient solar-powered machine diligently traversing the ocean surface. This is Alga Ray, the aquatic sentinel designed by the brilliant minds at Seaweed Generation. Alga Ray is not just any robot, it's a specialized solution to a growing environmental issue. So, what exactly does Alga Ray do? Well, it's on a mission to rid the Gulf of Mexico and the Caribbean of the invasive Sargassum seaweed. This isn't a mission of destruction though. Algaray is designed to scoop up the seaweed, not to destroy it, but to relocate it. The collected sargassum is released at a depth of 200 meters, where it makes its way to the ocean floor. This process isn't a one-time thing either. Algaray can repeat this cycle multiple times per hour, tirelessly working to clean up the seaweed invasion. It's a ceaseless guardian, navigating the ocean waves, powered by solar panels and lithium batteries. But how does Algaray know where to go? It's equipped with navigational tools that connect to Starlink's satellite internet constellation. This tech-savvy bot is always in the loop, knowing where to head next, ensuring no patch of sargassum goes unnoticed. Algaray is more than just a robot. It's a testament to the power of human innovation in the face of environmental challenges. It's proof that we can find harmonious solutions that work with nature rather than against it. 
This seaweed collecting sentinel is not only cleaning up our oceans, but also paving the way for future advancements in environmental robotics. Algaray, a beacon of hope, is taking the fight to the sargassum seaweed. But what happens when we deposit such a large amount of biomass into the deep ocean? Well, this is a question that has been keeping the designers of Algaray awake at night. You see, while the aquatic robot's mission of scooping up the invasive sargassum seaweed and depositing it deep in the ocean's belly seems like a brilliant solution, it's not without its potential pitfalls. Anytime we introduce, or in this case, reintroduce, a significant amount of biomass into a new environment, we risk disrupting the delicate balance of that ecosystem. The deep ocean is a world largely unexplored, home to countless species adapted to life in extreme conditions. Dumping tons of seaweed into their world could have unforeseen consequences. It could alter the nutrient balance, disrupt local food chains, or even create dead zones if the decaying seaweed depletes the oxygen in the water. The designers of Algaray are well aware of these potential risks. That's why they're not just launching their robot and forgetting about it. Instead, they're keeping a close eye on the situation, monitoring the impact of their deep sea deposits. They're working with marine biologists and oceanographers, using the latest technology to track changes in water quality and biodiversity. But let's be clear, we're not suggesting that Algaray is a menace to our oceans. Far from it. This robot could play a crucial role in tackling the sargassum crisis and even help in the fight against climate change. But like any solution, it's not without its potential risks. And to mitigate these risks, we need careful study and cautious implementation. As we move forward with this innovative technology, it's crucial that we do so with our eyes wide open, aware of the potential impact and ready to adapt our approach if necessary. After all, our ultimate goal is not just to clean up our beaches and boost the tourism industry, it's to protect and preserve our precious oceans for generations to come. While Algaray is a promising solution, it's essential we tread carefully to avoid causing more harm than good. The potential of Algaray, however, extends beyond just cleaning up seaweed. As we look towards the future, we begin to see the vast implications this seaweed-scooping robot could have on our battle against climate change. You see, seaweed isn't just an invasive species that's clogging up our oceans. It's also a natural absorber of carbon dioxide, one of the greenhouse gases contributing to global warming. With every scoop of sargassum that Algaray collects and deposits into the ocean's depths, it's essentially trapping and removing carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. Imagine, if you will, a future where fleets of Algaray robots patrol our oceans, tirelessly collecting and sinking seaweed. These submerged seaweed forests could potentially sequester millions of tons of carbon dioxide every year. That's equivalent to taking a substantial number of cars off the roads or planting countless new trees. But it's not just about carbon sequestration. The work of Algare could also help to restore balance to our ocean ecosystems. By tackling the sargassum problem, Algare is providing a lifeline to marine species that have been suffocated by the invasive seaweed. It's like giving our oceans a much needed breath of fresh air. Of course, it's important to remember that Algaray is still in its early stages. There's much more research and development needed before we can fully realize its potential. But the promise is there and it's an exciting one. In a world where climate change poses an ever-increasing threat, we need innovative solutions. And that's exactly what Algaray is. It's a testament to human ingenuity, a shining example of how technology can be harnessed for the good of our planet. In the face of environmental challenges, Algaray shines as a beacon of innovation and hope.